Welcome back everyone to another Digital Links video. My name is Xavier, aka GodXC Pro, and today we are going to go ahead and talk about the next event to come to the global version of Digital Links. Now, before we get started, you guys, I'm just going to let you guys know that my computer's in for repairs, so I apologize for the bad quality on this video. And also, I'm in a closed room, so my voice is echoing inside this room. I, I just want to apologize for all the bad errors that's going to be in this video. So. Anyways, um, let's talk about this week's event, or next week's event. <laughs> it's called the Fallen Malevolence, which is going to be featuring the mighty Lucimai SM, a.k.a. Lucimai Saint Mo, which is an absolute monster in the JB version of Digimon Links. I do recommend you guys get this unit. We will talk about him in this video, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, next week will be a very exciting week with two new gotchas, a new ranking event with only one event chip. Has Bonnet actually listened? And a new login bonus with a bunch of digital stuff. Basically, what they're talking about is this right here: the events training login bonus campaign, which uh, on day one you get ten thousand cluster, day two ten digital stones, day three twenty thousand cluster, day four twenty digital stones, day five thirty digital stones, day one one gourmet meat. If I meant to say day six one gourmet meat, and day seven forty digital stones for a grand total of one hundred digital stones, thirty thousand gourmet. I mean thirty thousand clusters and one gourmet meat. So. Pretty awesome campaign, you guys. We're getting um, 100 Digi Stone, which is really dope. I really do wish they give us more discounts in the Digi Stone shop instead of giving us like you know uh, Digi Stones all the time. I mean, I don't mind getting the um, campaign Digi Stones, but I mean, we have so many events that go by and we don't get this, we don't get this many Digi Stones all the time. So it gets pretty hard to play Digimon Links sometimes. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys do agree with me. So, anyways, um, let's talk about the new ranking event. Uh, the future Digimon is losing my SM. I already talked about it. Will only have a point of chip, and its data fragments are all in a fixed rewards ranking rewards featuring the usual ranking tickets and Digistones. More information will be added, which we will check out that little uh, guide in just a minute. The event guide page. Note that losing my SM is still his old version in the game in the data, although we may expect him to be updated to the one on ground one as he was released on JP. So. Uh, we have the old version of Lusama until they update it. He's still a really good unit, you guys. And I will, I'm, I'm gonna talk to him, I'm gonna talk about him in just a moment. So just uh, be patient. Anyways, the first new gotcha is a metal gotcha with Lusama FM available. Very important if you want that 10 chip more easily. What they mean by that is you know how in uh, regular gotchas you get whenever you summon form, you get 10 slots for um, your Digimon. Well, compared to the ones you do in the uh, friend summon, which you only get five slots, which is really terrible. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys remember the five slots when X-Mon was around. That was terrible. Anyways, um, uh, let's see, let's see. It says, and another gotcha is for Magnamon X, a very strong newcomer to the Global Link roster. Now, this is what I have a problem with. I hope they bring the original Magma along this banner like they did with the um, uh, Guru, the Metal Gurumon X and Metal Gurumon. Like, you know how they brought both of them in the same banner? I wish they do, I hope they do that in this banner. Only because um, this guy, it would be useless to summon on this if you don't have the original Magma. You know, you need 21 fragments for both just to get a decent one and uh, give them resistance to either light or dark. So. Uh, here's the metal banner on the right side right here of this poster. It's pretty cool. You get one silver plus four or higher in every 10 digi capture guarantee. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, a new arrival of the Abyss Killer chip. The Abyss Killer A plus 15 damage when attacking the Abyss. Defense minus 15%, special defense minus 15% when installed. This is going to be a really dope um, chip for uh, PvE, PvP, and the event as well because of the fact that most people are using dark type Digimons like Belfamon, Bielzamon, uh, Lidiamon, uh, so many dark Digimon, even um, this guy, uh, Lucimon, he's, he's an Abyss type as well. So, really, really useful chip. Uh, the special chip event intro introduction. Uh, you got the C, you got the, um, the C chip is going to give you a times 1.5, uh, the B chip is going to give you a times 3, the A chip is going to give you a times 6. It's really important, you guys, to get a decent chip in this event, especially because Lucimon only has one evolution route, and you're going to need a lot of points just to get this guy uh, to a plus 4. He doesn't have any option routes to take, so um, uh, play wisely. Anyways. Um, let's go ahead and talk about uh, the Lucimon 
and the Magnamon. First up is Lucimon SM, aka Lucimon Saint Mode. He is an Abyss type Digimon. His description says the final form of Lucimon. It looks like the Dragon of Revelation. As stated in the Revelation, it bears the crowns of the seven deadly sins upon its head and holds the Orb of Darkness Gehenna, which absorbs all attacks. This guy is weak to fire, light, paralyze, uh, stun, uh, uh, the confusion, and I believe that's the skull. And he's strong against Abyss, Skill Lock, Sleep, and Poison. His signature skill is called the Divine Atonement, which, uh, which does multiple hits of 7 on minor magical light damage to all enemies with a 37% chance to apply special poison, 15% of HP each turn for 2 turns. Really awesome, you guys. That's a really awesome effect. Um, his um, power is 53, his accuracy is 94%, crit 5%, and AP 3 So. He doesn't hit really hard, but what he makes up with his uh, um, his effect, his signature effect, which is really dope. Um, his stats are really impressive. He has a HP, his plus four stats for his HP is 3749, attack 4406, defense 6109, special attack 4800, special defense 6147, and speed 118. This guy isn't the fastest attacker, not even the hardest hitter in the game. Yet, he has one of the best defenses in the game, you guys. So, if I was to throw any type of medals into this unit, I would most definitely concentrate on that HP because that HP is already close to hitting a whopping 4,000. It's going to be really tanky, you guys. If you've seen any of my PvP battles, you saw my Grand Quagma had like a 4,000 HP, and he's extremely tanky. A 4,000 HP is extremely tanky. A 5,000 HP is even better, like really better you guys this unit is a must must put h um metals in his hp without like it's hp like must put uh, metals in his hp um you want to concentrate mainly on the hp and his defensive stats then you can concentrate on his attack stats and his speed if you want but i recommend hp and his all his defensive stats basically which which includes hp defense and special defense Make sure you concentrate on those for this unit. This unit is a really dope unit, really powerful. Um, not the hardest hitter, but his um, his signature effect is what gives him all the damage and whenever he plays. Uh, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. So, anyways, <laughs> um, if I was to rank this guy, I would say S plus or SS. I don't, I don't know, just one of those two. I think that's what Grandma Dynamics is going to give him. I'm not quite sure, but that's in my opinion. I think he's like an S plus or SS because he's a really um, amazing tank with an ab amazing ability um, with uh, special poison. Pretty awesome. Um, the type of leader skill for this unit would be like a HP booster or an accuracy booster so you can make sure you apply this poison really well on your opponent and uh, a defense booster would be great too. So those are the three that I recommend for this type of unit. Moving on to the next unit, his name is Magnamon X. This guy looks like Super Vegito, <laughs> not Super Vegito, but uh, Vegeta or Super Vegeta combined with a Gundam. Like, literally, look how big those thighs are, man. I swear, he just went to freaking... <laughs> oh, gosh, never mind. I'm, I'm going to stop with the jokes. My jokes are terrible. Anyways, Magnamon X is a Mirage type. The description says, when Magnamon's chrome digizoid muscles are tensed up, they temporarily transform into a golden digizoid and its entire body glows with golden light, raising his physical defense as well as mounting an absolute defense that can resist data disintegration, integrating attacks. Okay, this guy is a beast. Like, literally, he is a beast. Look how big his thighs are, though. Those are some big-ass thighs. Without a doubt, this guy is awesome. Man, he looks so awesome, man. Anyways, his signature skill is Plasma Shot. Does multiple hits of three or minor. Magical damage to all enemies with a 70% chance to lower attack and special attack by 10% for two rounds. Really dope, you guys. Um, he is a slow, he's a slow attacker. Well, not a slow attacker, but he's slow, but he lowers your opponent's attack, which is going to be awesome. Like, he has a 70% chance of lower attack and special attack. That's really awesome. And he's resisting... Skill lock and poison. He's weak to, um, I mean, being a Mirage type, he's going to be weak to light, dark, sleep, and confusion, but that's okay because um, give him, uh, I do recommend giving him dark 
just just saying, give them dark. Uh, there's not that many pe many people using a lot of light units lately because all the water units, um, water and nature units have been released on uh, the global version of Digimon. Like, it's been really hard for light Digimon to do anything in this game <laughs> lately. But anyways, this guy is a fire attacker, by the way. I know it didn't say it in the um, text, but he's a fire attacker. He has a power of 120, a 92% accuracy, a 7% crit and a 3 AP cost. His plus 4 stats for his HP is 32-42, attack 42-07, defense 60-34, special attack 56-11, special defense 60-34, speed 126. Like I said, this guy is slow, but he is tanky, just like Lusamon. Um, um, same thing, like I said with Lusamon, I would concentrate on his defensive stats, but you could, you can give him special you can increase his special attack only because his he does more damage than Lucimon, you know? So, uh, if I was to throw any type of metal, I would definitely give him a gold medal in his HP and then probably in his special attack just because I want him to, just to do more damage, you know? Because he's an AoE. He's an AoE, you know? Uh, I mean, I guess you could give him a gold medal in his defense and special defense. It's really your choice. It's kind of hard to actually pinpoint where you should go with this unit because he has a decent special attack. It's not bad. Um, if I was to rank this guy, an S plus to be um, to be precise. I, I don't know, an S or S plus. I actually like this unit. He's really good. Um, what do you guys think about Magma X? I think it's pretty cool. So other than that, you guys, I think we talked about all the units in this event. So next, we got to look at the event page, and that will call it a video. So the Fall of Malevolence uh, event, which is going to be Future and Lucimon SM, gather points and get great rewards like Lucimon SM, gather fragments, meet special conditions when finishing the quest and getting bonus points, Ancient Greymon, Ancient Greymon, Susanamon, uh, Magnamon X Anybody, no continue bonus. So those are the bonuses that you get. You can't, you can't, you can't revive. I'm repeating. Most players do this, and I, I'm assuming it's the newbies. So, uh, if you're gonna join somebody's team, you guys, um, don't screw them up. If they tell you do not revive, don't do it. Make sure you know the event before you do it. Uh, if you revive, you screw up giving them max amount of points, and they, I, I won't lie, I even get mad when people do that. It's just. You're grinding a lot in this event. They won't, yeah, I'm just saying. Anyways, take advantage of the bonus points to complete the event. Uh, PT ranking rewards, which is point ranking rewards, aim for the highest ranking to get fa uh, uh, fabulous prizes. I wonder what the prizes are, to be honest. Anyways, following the Mevelance point special tips, which I already talked about in the other page. High difficulty, all new Mevelance levels. The Digimon that appear are stronger, but you can get a lot of uh, a lot more points. So this is the solo one. The solo you can get a lot of points. I'm most likely going to be doing solo a lot because uh, I'm going to be going pretty hard on that chip banner because I want to try to get an A for the first time. I've never gotten an A in this game. I want to see how many digitons it costs just to get an A and I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Anyways, if you guys haven't joined our Facebook chat, uh, you should because a lot of us guys, um, we help a lot of players on there. Even though they have no chips, we help a lot of players on there. I will leave a link to the description below. I help a lot of players down there, and it's easier to do it that way because if you're join, if you're trying to join another party all the time, you know most of the time they're going to disband the party because of the lack of uh, chips they need for your, to to grind. You know, but. If you join our Facebook page, you guys, it's going to be like a rapid, non-stop, you know, um, grinding. That way you don't have to wait like five minutes before you have started a, your first event, you know, your first battle or something. It's really annoying. So the face, my Facebook page, um, my group's Facebook page, you should check in the description below. It is a really awesome Facebook page. A lot of players there know what they're talking about, you guys. I do recommend you guys go ahead and check that. Um, I've grinded like a ton of fragments in the last event for uh, Ancient Gurumon and the other Digimon and Susanamon. Didn't expect to get that much. <laughs> Anyways, the extra stage, um, HP times two, attack, special attack times 1.5 for these units that are in this um, picture, which are the bonus uh, Digimon. So who are you gonna bring to this event, you guys? Let me know in the comment section below. That's the question of the, of the day. Anyways, point ranking rewards. Um, these are the, the spots you can obtain. Uh, I'm gonna try to get as high as possible. I know I won't get the best spot, I wish I can, but I have a job, so. <laughs> uh, 
I won't be able to get what I want, but I'm hoping, you know. Anyways, this is all they have. I really thought they were going to have more. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, consider that like button, as well as subscribing and sharing this video with others, and checking out the Facebook um, chat room, you guys. I do recommend you checking it out. I really do. Also, I have a new type of um, uh, thing going on that I'm going to be posting a tournament for Digimon Links pretty soon. Um, it's probably going to it's going to start on September 7th. So uh, I will make a an advertisement video for that event. It's really dope, you guys. I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you come to the chat room, you hear what I'm talking about because I'm always telling everybody what's going on and stuff. I already made the brackets and everything and how it's going to go. There's even a prize for whoever gets top spot and stuff. So check out the chat room. Other than that, guys, I see you guys in the next video. Peace.